Today, we're introducing the new Lilliput Q17 17.3 inch reference and broadcast production monitor. This is a 4K HDMI and SDI monitor with multiple inputs and outputs and it comes standard with a hard case for travel shown here. The native resolution of this monitor is 1080p. With the case open, you can see the monitor within the case. There are a number of fixed physical buttons on the front right side of the monitor, as seen here, along with a menu button and a USB. And at the bottom, a headphone jack, 3.5 millimeter size. This is the interior of the case with the monitor removed. And here you can see the AC four pin power supply and two brackets that are used for the stand. And then over here is the uh, USB drive that's employed to program uh, lookup tables or LUTs into the monitor. In this view, you can clearly see the multiple in and out connections for the Q17 with the uh, inputs on the left and the outputs on the right. And from the top to the bottom, 12G SDI, 12G SDI, 3G SDI, 3G SDI, and then at the very top, the in and outs from HDMI inputs. And you can see below the SDI area, from left to right, the GPI in, the RS422 in and out, and the LAN port. What is shown here at the left rear of the monitor are three items. The V-mount for an external high capacity battery, the four pin metallic input for AC adapter and the three position power switch with the up position for the battery, the center position off, and the bottom position for the AC power supply. The picture menu is shown here, and you can see you can control brightness, contrast, saturation, tint, sharpness, RGB range, 
HDMI resolution, 2K or 4K, color space, camera log, user-defined log, gamma, HDR, backlight mode, backlight, color temperature. In this marker menu, you can control center marker, aspect marker, safety marker boundaries, the color of the marker, the thickness of the aspect mat. Under the function submenu, you have scan, aspect, overscan, horizontal and vertical delay, check field, zoom, freeze, image flip. Under waveform submenu, you have waveform, vector, transparency, peaking, peaking color, peaking level, false color, false color table, exposure, exposure level, histogram, four bar display, The next submenu is audio, and it consists of volume, level meter, audio vector, vector channel, audio left and right out. And under remote control, you have the, the uh, automatic remote setting on or off. Then you have three grayed out here. I'll put those on. And these are the manual controls for IP address, submask, and gateway. Then the RS type, RSID, baud rate, UMD text color, GPM, GPI-2, GPI-3, GPI-4, GPI-5, GPI-6. These are for tallies. And so forth. Under the system submenu, we have language, SFP, color bar, color bar mode, OSD timer, transparency, horizontal and vertical positions, info window, window transparency, horizontal and vertical positions, fan, Knob configuration, color calibration, comparison, reset all settings. This is the optional Q17 carry on flight case. In the foreground is shown the optional. Anton Bauer battery mount for the rear of the monitor as well as the brackets that are used for the optional rack mount of which there are two as shown here.